Let's talk about NBA free agents and where they are ending up this summer. First off, Anthony Davis. Uh, I say he stays a Laker. He's enjoying playing for the purple and gold. What he's able to do off the court is tremendous. Uh, he's taken after LeBron and expanding his brand off the court by being in Los Angeles and using uh, the stage that you're really placed on and the pedestal, if you will, and taking advantage of it. Anthony Davis stays as a Laker. Uh, if they win a championship, this is one of the better tandems in Lakers history. I'm not going to say it's the best, but it's definitely one of the better, uh, at least for now. We'll see down the road. But Anthony Davis, I say he stays a Laker. He's loved it ever since he's got there. Uh, Anthony Davis belongs in L.A. DeMar DeRozan is a guy that I see going to Portland. He takes a discount. Go to Portland. Look, your contrasting styles with Damian Lillard and CJ McCallum fits together perfectly to complete the puzzle. They're not going to be able, Portland is, to be able uh, to bring in a guy like a Kevin Durant, LeBron James, or Kawhi Leonard, the traditional guy that's won the finals. <clears throat> for the past many seasons in a row uh, because of how much they're paying CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard. But what DeMar DeRozan does provide is a contrast in style that would complement Lillard uh, and McCollum. When Lillard and McCollum are getting uh, harassed on the outside, uh, DeMar DeRozan can slash inside, get the ball, uh, put in shots. Uh, he's a good finisher. Mid-range is his game. Uh, and, and then I also think that Portland brings in this offseason uh, uh, to another discount. These guys need to take good uh, team deals to make this work. But imagine the fit if not only DeMar DeRozan went to Portland, but also Paul Millsap. You provide his post presence, his ability to get buckets inside. Uh, with DeMar DeRozan, Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Hassan Whiteside would have to go. Might have to move off Nurkic. Uh, but either way, this roster would be complete. They'd be competitive in the West. Uh, Melo's gone. I say Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, DeMar DeRozan, Paul Millsap, you have a squad right there. Joe Harris, he would have to take a discount this uh, summer, but I say he goes to my Lakers too. I, I, I sound like a homer this whole video, don't I? But I, if Joe Harris played alongside LeBron James, are you telling me his game would not be optimized like playing with no other? Uh, playing with LeBron is the ultimate situation for a 3 and D guy. Ask Danny Green. Uh, and amongst other guys, Kyle Corver throughout his career, fourth all-time in three-pointers made in NBA history, by the way, Kyle Corver. A lot of those coming off passes from LeBron James. Montrez Harrell is a free agent this summer. I think he gets absolutely paid. I think he's gone from the Clippers. And I think he goes to Washington just because of the paycheck. Uh, he can get a lot of money going to Washington. I think that's where the fit is uh, in terms of the money that he's looking for and what he'll be able to command from the market. Andre Drummond is a free agent. I say he goes to San Antonio, winning culture. They need a, a, a solid big alongside the Marcus Aldridge. Uh, and they might move off Aldridge at some point here shortly. He's struggled as of late, never uh, lived up to be. Well, I mean, you, you fall on the shoe steps of Tim Duncan, and it, it's impossible shoe steps to try and fill pants to fill. And he, he's definitely been uh, disappointing in that role. So you look at Andre Drummond, let him go get coached up by Greg Popovich finally has a chance to at least make the playoffs, which he's not too familiar with, uh, Drummond is. So this would be good for his career, no question about it. I think that's where the fit is. Serge Ibaka, I think, goes to Minnesota and plays for the Timberwolves. I think they're looking for defense to play alongside Cat uh, and D'Angelo Russell. They got some money to spend. Spend it on Serge Ibaka. Get yourself a defensive anchor that's been on a championship team uh, and is well-respected around the league. Serge Ibaka, my fit, is with Minnesota. The last one that I'm going to talk about is Mike Conley. I say Mike Conley's best fit would be with Indiana. You put him uh, off the bench uh, and, and, and you still have Brogdon out there. You have uh, Victor Oladipo. They're probably going to move off Miles Turner for Sabonis. Uh, but either way, it's a talented roster. The Eastern Conference is less competitive. Mike Conley would take a lesser role. He could go out there and he could be sixth man of the year uh, playing with that team. He'd get crucial minutes. They could go small ball lineup down the stretch if they wanted to. Uh, and he could play to close out the games to start off the court and be able to boost his stats and win an award because of it. I say Mike Conley's best fit is with Indiana.